Hello everyone. This is going to be a practice exercise on VLOOKUP and MATCH. Something which helps you take two elements as input and fetch the answer based on a table. Simply watching the video won't help. Practice will. So take the initiative. Get access to all my YouTube practice files from the description given below. Now something very similar we have on our screens where vertically I have the region names and horizontally I have the years. Not only that, if I looked at the grouped columns and unfold one of those, you'll also see the breakup in terms of the four quarters. So for example, 2005, I had a profit of 399 for the North region and the breakup in terms of four quarters were 93 plus 75 plus 96 plus 135. Now when I unfold all these columns, what I get to look at is 2003, 2004, 2005 till 2008 all these six years I have the data with proper quarterly breakup now as a part of a dashboard exercise what I want as the user selects from this drop down south or west or east and based on that the relevant quarter names he is able to fetch the answer automatically from the given table below now this is a two-dimensional lookup why one dimension is from an element given vertically and one dimension is from an element provided horizontally and based on the intersection of those two elements please find the answer that's what we want now of course we'll be using VLOOKUP and MATCH and this be a practice exercise let's see how if you liked how we explained the logic behind the tricks why don't you check out our entire library use the link in the description below so VLOOKUP look for that one value which most likely you are going to find vertically provided in the main data set. So I'm going to look for not quarter, but in this case, north. Even if this changes to east or west or south, the still the lookup value logic will still hold good. Put a comma. Next, table array selection. Keeping in mind the prerequisite of VLOOKUP, let me start from the column which contains the common link. So shift control down, shift control right. Immediately, I press F4 and comma. Now be aware that I do not have to return back to the old cell where I had started writing the formula. No, your formula is still getting displayed in this function bar. So at this time, if you press F4, it quickly takes you back there along with the dollars placed at the right positions. Putting a comma. As per our logic column index number, this has to be outsourced or delegated to the match formula who will help us count the position number. That is, from which column number the answer must be fresh. Is it the first, second, third, fourth or fifth? Now typically, if you were not aware of match formula and its power, you would have counted manually. One, two, three, fourth column, fifth column and so on and so forth. And I just wonder that if you have to go to the quarter 2 of 2008 or let's say quarter 3 of 2007, how many columns would you have to start counting? Quite a lot. In fact, you would also not pay heed to the fact that some of the columns may be hidden and the counting may be skipped erroneously. Some of the professionals do a slightly better job of not counting manually. Instead, they start selecting the cells using shift right right. Now you notice at the bottom right of the selection, the 1R multiplied with 6C. That's a sign which is indicating one row selected and six columns chosen. This will help you get the count as you go to quarter 3 of 06. In this case, I'll have to move a little on the right. Quarter 306, it says 1R into 19C. So I can go back and I can write 19. But the point is, if tomorrow you change this to quarter 4, 2008, it will not automatically change the count. So what do I do? We will feed in a match formula, reserve a seat, put a dummy placeholder, ensure that you close the bracket right away, comma, since you're looking for an exact match and you're not working with a data which is exactly a slab, we will be putting false or more specifically zero, closing the brackets. Now let's pay full attention to match formula. Let's complete this match your work is to focus on the header and if you have watched our previous videos you would remember that we had used the analogy of junior follows senior who's the senior formula here we look up and who's the junior match formula and match is going to focus just on the header starting from where the senior formula or vlookup has begun so match lookup value 
look for quarter 306. That's exactly what you're trying to find out in terms of count. Put a comma. Look up array. It's not a table array. So you cannot, you can never choose a table array like this. Instead, in the lookup array section, start selecting from where VLOOKUP had begun. Only for the header. So I'm not choosing before. I'm not choosing later. I'm choosing right from the word region. Shift control right. As explained earlier, you can instantly press F4, comma. F4 to fix it and comma so that you can finish the match formula with one more final parameter and that is zero for exact match. So the very advantage of first reserving a seat for match formula is that you will avoid all kinds of syntax error. Some of the time you may forget to put a bracket here. Maybe some of the times you may forget to put the zero here. So all this could lead to an erroneous results. Hence, when we look at the formula, just to wait whether it's correct or not, all the arrays must be fixed. One zero for match, one for VLOOKUP. That's all. Let me test it out. Press enter. Mm -hmm. I get the answer. And as I chain the quarter, I get the revised answer. For those who are wondering how did I create the drop down validation, please refer to one of our videos which says drop down list from data validation and you'll find the mechanism how can you create the drop down list. Until next time, until next trick. See you.